Miracle Workers. <laughs> uh, we have a wonderful cast. Uh, by the way, I have to try and see tonight uh, to make a note because it, and maybe it's back again in the program. But over the weekend, they don't have that. Or one on TV here. That's fine. Uh, but I have to look for it again tonight. <laughs> Steve Wishemi. Uh, it, it's. Uh, it, how do you see this? No, you have to to watch it when it's on the program. If it's at seven in the evening, that's when you have. I guess because I don't think. No, one doesn't have here the option of. Um, Letting you see it at your le leisure. I mean, like with HBO, you have Max, and then it doesn't matter when it's programmed. Binge watch on Netflix. Uh, Netflix, uh, we dropped out because I didn't find uh, much, if anything, to to. Uh, my pleasure. The yeah. last thing I've seen was the Cold War made a hundred years ago. Which is not, I mean, so what? Citizen Kane. One of the other things. Wonderful. Great. Films by uh, Jean Renoir. But then you can see those, you can see those um, on. You don't have to be on, on Netflix. So, uh, there was one last night on the Cultural, one of the many, uh, many channels, 20, 25, that offer films now. Some specialized on films, and then you have the general uh, channels, which included eight or something, and they, they also had something special. Okay, uh, even an obscure one, an Italian channel, which is in Chernika. <laughs> what, what is that? <sighs> so, Steve Buscemi. Steve Buscemi is a shit collector <laughs> in the Middle Ages. Uh, and they have some discoveries or inventions, innovation. I mean, he, he has a shovel, which, <laughs> which is very short, that his daughter thinks about and invents a shovel, which has a, uh, which is longer. So you don't have to, you know, get, first of all, next to the product, <laughs> the feces. And then you have to you have to break your back. Uh, there's also well, the, they have marketing ideas. Two, you pay for two and you get three with the back three and things like that. Uh, but um, they're awkward, funny situations. Uh, cast is wonderful. Why did they go up there? I mean, I like this. A hundred times better than Ted Lasso, which one? Of course, I'm not the one to say this is the one, this is but I just push an opinion uh, there. But um, it's not important, of course. Awkward situation when uh, when this doctor picked up this brush uh, uh, takes the protagonist uh, with him and now you, you're a doctor and then the others respect her until she has to say well this is a fraud because this guy doesn't he's not it's just. Scam artist, a scumbag. Uh, 
a, a sort of trunk, if you, if you will, in the Middle Ages and a smaller, with smaller success. So, uh, at one point, for instance, his brother has something wrong. Her brother uh, uh, fell cold, and the solution given by the doctor is you have we have to cut cut off your testicles and you have to eat them and you'll be cured. What? And she says no, father. Take him home. Keep him near the fire and it will be fine. And then she realizes that. But you know, you said he said no. He's a father. And then. Yeah, me too. I'm not. And she decides she has to let the others know. And in the Middle Ages equivalent of a, the, the morning show, <laughs> there's this man who comes on stage and has to show the equivalent of what they have now in the media on NBC News, CNN, and so on. And says, Look, she's not a, she has some news. I'm not a doctor. Um, and she's using some face with the people. Oh, I admire you so much, you doctor. And, oh, I feel so terrible in your position now that we know you're not a doctor. And you're just going to be for some time. 